Sometimes it's the simplest operations that we tend to overthink the most. I have these four pieces here. I wanna make a little frame out of this. I'm gonna use half lap joinery at each corner for the assembly. It means I need to know half the thickness of this. Now I could measure it and then divide that by two, draw a line here and then set my saw blade to that and see if that works. Another popular method without any measuring is to take it to the table saw and run a blade's width cut this way with the blade up about just under half or so, and then flip it over, run it through this way, and try and get that little nub that's left in the middle as close to zero as absolutely possible. And that's the way I used to do it. The only problem with that is that if you go a little too far, you don't really know that you went too far, and so you kind of got to back it off and start over. It can be a little bit finicky. What I have is a method for you today. This is extremely easy, extremely foolproof. You don't have to know the thickness of this. You don't have to measure or mark or anything else. Our setup is super simple. I have my miter gauge on the right hand side of my blade. I have a stop block here held on with a spring clamp, very simple. I have a scrap piece of the same material that my frame is being made out of. And that's just gonna slide right in here like this. My blade is set to 45 degrees. I'm gonna turn the saw on, cut through this on this bottom face here. Then I'm gonna flip it over and cut another 45 on the opposite face. The end result is going to tell me exactly where halfway is. All right, now with my blade back at 90 degrees, I have a line here that goes from this tooth to the opposite tooth. And when this line stands perfectly straight up, I know that this is as high as this saw blade is going to be. So if I take this, try and get out of your guys' way here, and I just rotate my blade until that line is standing straight up, just like the square is, now I know that that's the very tippy top of my blade. So now I can bring this down and just put that tooth right here at that center point. And when the two match up, all I have to do is lock this down and make my cuts. And the end result is a nice tight fitting half lap joint. Any discrepancy here is gonna end up getting planed or sanded down anyway. So in my book, that's a win. This method works, works really well, and it's a heck of a lot quicker than the other two methods, even if you do have to raise or lower it just a little bit.